Yes. Just a short question. Out of the 21 standards, which one do schools really have difficulty with? Well, I think right now the biggest challenges are around faculty qualifications and assurance of learning, right? Uh, those are the areas that people struggle with the most. I agree, you know, uh, faculty qualification and uh, AOL, you know, that's, 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 that's two points that you need to spend lots of time, resources, yeah, 100% agree. Um, just a quick follow-up question to that. If you had problems with that. Uh, you mentioned that you had to hire additional faculty. Are you following a student-to-faculty ratio in, in such a standard? Okay, uh, let, uh, let me make this a little bit more clear that other than AACSB accreditation, we have uh, principles ratios we have to uh, follow. Uh, requested by the Minister of Education in Taiwan. So the reason that we hire 20 more faculty members, uh, in one hand is uh, trying to reduce the teaching load and uh, trying to uh, uh, have a better uh, general environment for faculty development. Uh, the second factor is that you know uh, we try to uh, uh, satisfy the, the ratios requested by the Minister of Education. But Anyway, you know, have 20 faculty members is definitely the plus for the development of the college. Yeah. Okay. Can I just say something about assurance of learning? Um, I think it's, if, if you're thinking of moving along this process, you should, you should spend a lot of time learning about assurance of learning. Um, if you launch into it without thinking it through, it becomes monstrous <laughs> and very time consuming. If, you, if somebody really understands assurance of learning, it's not any way as burdensome as people think. Uh, there are, um, you, you probably have sufficient, um, you archive data all the time. People put in projects, they do thesis. There's lots of sources of information where you can measure your learning goals. And I just think uh, it is critical to understand it well. And there's lots of literature. And we do seminars, but you can find all the stuff anywhere else. But think it through before you actually put pen to paper and start the process. Uh, critical, I think. Big paradigm shift in AOL. You're not evaluating the teacher. You're evaluating the students learning in the program. And that's the big paradigm shift is that faculty to uh, communicate with each other as to how well students are doing and what could be done to improve students' learning. And that's it's very difficult for uh, individual faculty as well as administrators sometimes to appreciate. It's not students learn in my class, are the students learning whatever the subject is, and then what is the uh, <coughs> factors that influence the quality of that learning? And it may be their pre, uh, uh, well, I don't get to that. That's, we'll do the workshop sign. By the way, I have a variety of slides on assurance of learning and other things that I couldn't get up here a while ago, but I'll be glad to share with you.